Hi, my name is Gareth Thomas. I'm the President, CEO, and Director of West Haven Ventures. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, new and exciting gold discovery in southwestern British Columbia. Uh, as Eric mentioned there about CORE, I'll be making some forward-looking statements, so please keep that in mind for the duration of the presentation. Uh, West Haven Ventures is listed on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol WHN. We have a little over 88 million shares outstanding and a little under 98 million shares fully diluted. Uh, market cap of around 80 million as of yesterday and a working capital of uh, about 3 million right now. Uh, as you can see there, our, our price at the bottom there, uh, we were uh, happy to make the Venture 50 this year. We were the top gainer on the TSX. Uh, as you can see there, 980% uh, increase from, as Eric mentioned there, uh, exploration, which we feel is the lifeblood of, of discovery and, and wealth. So uh, we had a very good year and we're looking forward to, to more of that. Uh, a particular note here, uh, Insiders and directors, we own uh, approximately 38% of the shares outstanding, so we have a, a lot of skin in the game, needless to say. Uh, we have four properties covering approximately 35,000 hectares on the Spences Bridge Gold Belt. Uh, all are road accessible and close to major highways, which equates to cost-effective exploration. I'll be talking primarily today about our, our new shovel nose discovery. Uh, we're, we have a 3,000 meter program that's currently ongoing, and I'll be talking about uh, our first hole, which we're, uh, we're just onto our second hole now, but I'll, I'll show some pictures of uh, what we drilled in, in hole 1901. Uh, a bit about our team there. Um, lots of uh, track record of discovery. Uh, Diavik, Polaris, Thor Lake, Silvertip, and, and most recently the Spences Bridge Gold Belt. And once again, management, 38% uh, uh, share position, which uh, a lot of skin in the game, excuse me. Uh, management directors and advisors, I won't go through all this. Uh, we have quite a few here throughout the show, so please feel free to come by our booth and uh, hound us there. Uh, here's a look at the Spences Bridge Gold Belt. As you can see there, and as Eric mentioned, it's about a two and a half hour drive uh, from Vancouver right to our drill site at Shovelnow. So uh, second to none in terms of uh, um, proximity. It's great to uh, infrastructure and highway. Coquihalla goes right through there. If I get the pointer working here. Nope. Uh, here we go, is our, our shovel nose discovery, which like I said, I'll be talking primarily about today. Uh, next, you have our Prospect Valley up to the northwest, and then you have our Skunka and our Skunka North. And you see a, a little uh, black checkered outline there. This is uh, important because as of October, a group called Sable Resources staked the majority of what you see outlined in gray there. They staked 190,000 hectares, uh, which was the largest single staking event in BC history. Since we had a CA signed with Sable, we made a deal where we kept anything within those black checkered blocks there. We have a five kilometer area of interest, which we have a two and a half percent net smelter royalty on anything that's discovered within those boundaries. And anything on the outside of that, we have a, a, a right of first refusal. So important to note that uh, basically 225,000 hectares, we have a, our, our foot in there. And gonna be a very busy year here on the belt. But as mentioned, I'll be talking about shovel nose more now. Uh, shovel nose property, you can see the Coquihalla Highway. Our claims actually go right across the highway. Um, you can see a power line up there to the north as well. And Highway 5A, uh, it's about a five kilometer up forestry road. Other than that, it's plowed, paved, great access. And I'll be talking primarily here about the south zone and uh, a little over 15,000 hectares. Uh, this is just a picture of the south zone looking to the southeast. You can see down here, that's a picture of our rig. That was hole SN 1818. So you're looking to the southeast. Um, very good area to work, lots of clear cuts, forestry. In fact, we haven't taken down a tree in, in about uh, two years. So very, very good for uh, permitting. 
Uh, I'll be going through some of the drill holes from our recent discovery, starting with uh, up in the north there, uh, hole 12. This was more or less our, our big discovery hole, 1.65 meters of 175 grams per ton gold and 249 grams per ton silver, uh, including that was uh, 0.65 meters of 285 grams per ton gold and 255 grams per ton silver. And important to note below that, we hit a second zone, which graded uh, almost 12 grams over four meters. Carrying on to the south, 22 was just drilled uh, just before Christmas, uh, 5.35 meters of almost nine grams per ton gold and 32 grams per ton silver. Uh, second zone underneath that. I won't go through all these numbers as I'm limited here in time. Uh, 21, which we announced in uh, January, almost 13 meters at 12.1 grams gold. And this was a 50 meter undercut to hole 14, which I'll, I'll touch on here shortly. And uh, important to note there as well, 1.4 meters of 92 grams and uh, 641 grams per ton silver, which was our highest silver number to date as well. Uh, 18, which I'll be uh, talking about in the next few slides, which is a very important hole because we hit a, a significant second zone next to the main zone, 13.67 13 meters of 4.29 grams per ton gold, and including in that almost uh, over 15 meters, uh, or sorry, 3.7 meters of 15 and a half grams per ton gold, and our second zone, importantly, 8 meters of 6.81 grams per ton gold. Uh, and this was our discovery hole, which uh, made our stock jump quite a bit, 17.7 uh, meters of 24.5 grams per ton gold, uh, including uh, almost 7 meters of 50 grams per ton gold and 200 grams silver. And there's 1,500 meters to the southeast of, of 14, where we drilled 46 meters of almost 9 grams per ton gold. So needless to say, uh, a large area here we got a strike length of about 720 meters from gold mineralization to the top uh, down to hole 19, which um, though not, not very high grade, we still had anomalous gold, 56 meters of 150 PPB gold. And we think we know what's going on with that hole now since we've done geophysics over the last couple of weeks here. We think we have a good handle on what happened there. So we'll be drilling another hole down in the south as well. Here's a, just the look of our uh, proposed holes here, and you'll see 1901 was our first hole there. So that's a, a 50 meter uh, step out from hole 15. And uh, you can see the two zones there, which we're targeting now. Uh, of course, the main zone uh, important, but now that we have the second zone, it's become a very, uh, very prospective area as well. Here's a cross section, just looking at uh, holes 21, 14, and 18. This is to show the second vein zone um, and where our preferred metal horizon tends to be around the 1200 meter you can see this line here this is where our preferred metal tends to be the gold tends to be right around this area so we now know when hole 18 where we hit that second zone we were a little bit below this so we want to get above to the preferred uh, horizon and see what the second zone has eight eight meters of uh, almost seven grams isn't bad but we think it can be a lot better so this will be our uh, third hole of this program, which would be 1903, which is about uh, uh, 50, 60 meter step out from hole 18. And 18 was a 100 meter step out from uh, 14. So, so big step outs here. We're not uh, infill drilling at the moment. We're still trying to see how big this could be. Uh, back to the elevation control. Uh, touch on this briefly where I mentioned the 1200 meter range that tends to be our, our most favorable gold and silver horizon. And that's kind of the line there between 1150 and 1250. So we, we really know this is the area that we, we want to be in, though, though we have about 300 meters of anomalous gold. This really tends to be the sweet spot. Uh, in the fall, we flew a, uh, the whole property, uh, airborne magnetic, 75 meter spacings and lots of interesting looking uh, anomalies here. I'll just zoom in and show you guys where we are drilling on the south zone. So lots of interesting looking, uh, as I put some liniments up here that we're gonna be following up here in the summer. Um, drilling now, seven holes, 3,000 meters. Then we're looking to um, attack this with two rigs come June. And as mentioned there, this is um, our hole that we just finished a couple days ago. Uh, visible gold, we hit a zone uh, about 155 meters to 176 meters. Uh, visible gold throughout, the, throughout that intercept. Uh, the top picture there, 
is from about just the start, about 155 meters. Then down here is towards the end, about 175 meters. And you'll see here, here's a, about a six meter straight vein zone there. So very, very excited about this hole, uh, assay is pending. We were hoping to have something out for this in the PDAC, but um, yeah, we'll be uh, hopefully having those out in the next couple of weeks. Uh, in conclusion, a uh, very large land package on a very underexplored belt. Um, lots of work going on there, not just with us, but with uh, lots of other groups. It's going to be an exciting year. And like I mentioned, uh, we have an ongoing 3,000 meter drill program. So uh, stay tuned and thank you very much.